Kyle Shanahan was on KMBR, and he said basically it's getting close, hopefully. So, and that's better than no update. It's been no update, no update, no update, no update. This is the first time he's had something tangible and substantive to say. It sounds like they're going to get the Trent Williams deal done, which is good news. Because in the same interview on KNBR, Kyle Shanahan said as to Brandon Ayuk, I wish I was saying something different, but nothing's changed yet. And my take with Ayuk, I said this before, it's a deadline-driven business. If you move to your bottom line too early, you're going to get squeezed off of it when the clock strikes 12. So the 49ers know the right moment. Remember the old movie Trading Places? Duke, the, the, the Mortimer Duke yeah. and his brother Duke. It's a, they sit and they there knew, and they're patient. It was right. It, Right. right. But no, it was Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy. Yeah, right. They knew the right moment. Right. They knew the right moment to sell the frozen concentrated orange juice futures. You'd got to wait for the right moment to put the number in front of Brandon Ayuk, and that's when he'll take it. And if you do it too early, they're going to wait, and they're going to say, we want more. So I think that's what it is. They know when they need him in there to get him ready for week one against the Jets. That's when they're going to make the offer. And I think their confidence is going to take it at this point. Because if they're going to trade, it's too late. They should have traded him last week if he was going to get traded. It should have happened two weeks ago. Each passing moment, it makes it less practical for a team like the Steelers to bring in Brandon Ayuk. Yeah, I, I'm listen, I, I don't know what's going to happen here. I mean, I, I would agree with you that, yeah, things are going to get desperate and something would get done if you made me bet, yes, yeah, so that they get, get it done, right? But, yeah, trade's not happening. I don't know where it's going to happen, but I know they need these two guys we're referring to especially with like what you talked about, the Jets coming to, to, to town week one on a mission, right? A, a, a solid going against his old team. You, want, you need Trent Williams against that pass rush, and you need Brandon Ayuk for Sauce Gardner and that damn secondary there. That, that's the thing they're, they're going to be desperate for. But, uh, yeah, the Ayuk situation, it, it does seem weird to me, and I have no clue where we're at, where it's going. And, yeah, the trade seems like it can't happen because it seems like he only wants to go to the Steelers, and it doesn't seem like that, that deal is, is going to happen. I wrote about this yesterday, and it was our most trafficked story of the day, that the clock is going to strike 12 soon for Ayuk, CeeDee Lamb, and Jamar Chase. And I think I if I had to put – a dollar on it, I would say all three guys will get those deals. It's just a matter of the deadline arriving. Because if it wasn't on that track, there'd be a lot more noise right now. There'd be a lot more agitation right now. Everybody's quiet, which tells me they're just waiting for the plane to land at the right time. And the right time is probably about a week from now. Yeah, uh, I, I, I don't disagree with your you know reading between the tea leaves there that that I feel like yeah if it was far off agents would let out little things here and there that they're not even close or the players being disrespected it sounds like we're coming down the home stretch and just a few little details are being figured out with these contracts here the one that could blow up not that there's anything he could do the Jamar Chase thing could turn ugly depending upon how things go that's been the one that hasn't been covered as much. It he hasn't left been practice, talked about as right? much. He left practice, right? There was a moment yeah. where there was some consternation and he was gone. And Zach Taylor wouldn't say whether it was excused or unexcused, which means it was unexcused. So there's some stuff happening there that that hasn't boiled over yet, but could. But for now, there's patience that they're going to see the light and they're going to get the deal done to make Jamar Chase happy. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.